I remember when I was growing up, the many dinosaur books I read had slightly different size estimates for Allosaurus with regards to length and weight. Normally, these books would place Allosaurus within the 2 to 4 ton range and anywhere between 30 to 45 feet. And yes, there was a National Geographic dinosaur encyclopedia that gave a length estimate of up to 45 feet. But if you go on Wikipedia, the article on Allosaurus states that it is on average 8.5 meters or about 28 feet in length, with a max of 32 feet and a weight of 2.5 to 3 tons. There was an article that was written when a new species of Allosaurus was named Chibensenai that gave a length of 30 feet. And various size charts show Allosaurus frigilis and Chibensenai at the 28 to 32 foot range. With such varied size estimates, one might be confused or wonder how big Allosaurus actually was. I'm going to attempt to answer this by citing what the experts say about this theropod size, establishing what species belong under the genus of Allosaurus, and this is very important for average size, and taking a look at the largest definitive specimens of the type species Allosaurus fragilis. First, I should note that there are several species of Allosaurus of varying sizes. Allosaurus europus is the smallest out of all the species, estimated at 23 feet in length. Allosaurus fragilis and Gibet seni are agreed to be the two other species, both much larger than Europus at around 30 feet. All paleontologists agree that these are definitely three species of Allosaurus. There is more controversy surrounding Saurophaganox, or Allosaurus maximus. Based on the paleontological evidence, I hold the position that Saurophaganox should be classified as a species of Allosaurus, and from here on out, I will be, for the most part, calling it Allosaurus maximus. As for its massive size, there are other massive specimens of Allosaurus that Allosaurus maximus falls within the range of that I will talk about later. On a broader level, if a layman looks at the fossils or skeletons of Allosaurus maximus and other Allosaurus species, there are really no morphological differences. In 1998, David K. Smith conducted a study on Allosaurus fragilis and maximus specimens specifically femurs, femurous teeth, and pedal phalanxes, where he used a principal com component analysis and logarithmic analysis to determine the variation in Allosaurus size and morphology. He found that Allosaurus maximus, aka Saurophaganox, fell within the range of non-size variation of Allosaurus specimens, or as he put it, the specimen referred to Allosaurus or Saurophaganox maximus although larger than the others, falls within the expected range of variation for Allosaurus fragilis. He used Platyosaurus specimens for comparison in variability in size and anatomy, and in certain principal component analysis, there was more variation between Platyosaurus specimens, but more size variation within the Allosaurus specimens. As for Allosaurus maximus's size, Smith points out that Saurophaganox lies on the same growth trajectory as Allosaurus in almost every case. His conclusion is that Saurophaganox is a large species of Allosaurus and that it should be called Allosaurus maximus. Whenever insignificant morphological differences are brought up between Allosaurus maximus and other Allosaurus species, it could be also brought up that there is skull var variation between Allosaurus fragilis and Gimetseni, and size variation between Europus and fragilis. Allosaurus maximus has more skull similarity with Allosaurus fragilis than Allosaurus gimetseni does with fragilis. Paleontologist Thomas Holtz pointed out in both his book, Dinosaurs, the most complete up-to-date encyclopedia, and on Twitter that Saurophaganox, or Allosaurus maximus, was likely a very large Allosaurus as well. Dougal Dixon, who has relevant degrees in geology, stated in his Encyclopedia of Dinosaurs and Other Prehistoric Life that Saurophaganox was also likely a large species of Allosaurus. In the Princeton Field Guide to Dinosaurs, Gregory S. Paul classifies Saurophaganox as Allosaurus maximus. There is another giant species of Allosaurus, Allosaurus amplexus, that has size estimates of 40 feet. Allosaurus amplexus was first classified by Gregory S. Paul in his book, Predatory Dinosaurs of the World. If we take a look at the average size of the genus Allosaurus and the largest species, here are what paleontologists with expertise in the Mesozoic era tell us. Allosaurus amplexus is estimated to have been 40 feet or longer. Robert Baker, in his book The Dinosaur Heresies, places Allosaurus amplexus at 45 feet, 
with a weight of 4 tons and other species of allosaurus such as Fragilis at more than 30 feet and up to 45 feet with a weight of 2 tons. In the dinosaur genus list of dinosaurs, the most complete up-to-date encyclopedia, Thomas Holtz places Allosaurus at 39.4 feet and Saurophaganox or Allosaurus maximus at 42.7 feet. Holtz uses modern-day animals to give it, the reader an idea of each dinosaur's weight, and he estimates Allosaurus at the weight of a rhino and Allosaurus maximus at the weight of an elephant. In the Princeton Field Guide to Dinosaurs, Gregory S. Paul places Allosaurus maximus at 35 feet and 3 tons. In the Audubon Society Pocket Guide Familiar Dinosaurs, which was reviewed by Lowell Dingus of the American Museum of Natural History, Allosaurus was given a length of 35 feet and a weight of 1.5 tons. Halska Osmolska, in her contribution to The Ultimate Dinosaur, states that Allosaurus grew to 12 meters or around 39 to 40 feet in length and a weight of about 2 tons. The paleontologist James H. Madsen, in his paper Allosaurus fragilis, a revised osteology, examines the various Allosaurus fragilis specimens discovered from the Cleveland Lloyd Dinosaur Quarry in Utah. The Cleveland Lloyd Quarry is well known for its abundance of Allosaurus fossils of various growth stages, from juveniles to adults. After doing a comprehensive study on the various Allosaurus specimens from this quarry, Madsen concluded that Allosaurus fragilis could grow to 12 meters or 40 feet in length and 4.5 meters or 16 feet tall. Madsen holds the position that Allosaurus implexus, or Impantarius, is the largest specimen of Allosaurus fragilis, basically an exceptionally large adult Allosaurus fragilis. With this in mind, his findings show that Allosaurus implexus was 5 meters or 16.5 feet tall and was 13 meters or 42.7 feet in length. He writes, the largest Allosaurus fragilis would have rivaled Tyrannosaurus in size. Taking Madsen's size estimates into consideration, Allosaurus fragilis has the ability to grow to gigantic sizes. This makes sense because Allosaurus lived alongside some of the largest sauropods to ever walk the earth, such as Brachiosaurus, Supersaurus, Barosaurus, and Diplodocus, and by extension, the largest animals to walk the earth. And in order to adapt and have the ability to hunt these gigantic sauropods, even in packs, Allosaurus would have needed to have reached a large to enormous size. Looking at the size estimates given by respected paleontologists, it is reasonable to conclude paleontologists can agree that Allosaurus fell into the size range of 30 to 40 feet in length and 1.5 to 4 tons in weight and larger species such as Allosaurus maximus and Implexus could have easily grown to over 40 feet and up to 45 feet in length and up to 5 tons in weight. We have established that there are several different species of Allosaurus, but the type species and the best studied species of Allosaurus is Allosaurus fragilis. Normally, the length estimate given for fragilis would have been 28 to 32 feet in length, basically around 30 feet in length. The largest fragilis specimen in the American Museum of Natural History, AMNH 680, measured it 32 feet in length. As mentioned before, James H. Madsen has concluded, based on various Allosaurus fossils found in the Cleveland Lloyd Quarry, that Allosaurus fragilis could grow to 40 to 42 feet in length. A caudal vertebra of Allosaurus fragilis, UMNH 10781, was also found in the Cleveland Lloyd Quarry. This specimen is particularly notable due to the size of the individual and the apparent injury sustained from a stegosaurus thagomizer, which indicates this particular allosaurus was attacking the stegosaurus. Measurements of the vertebra indicate that this allosaurus was around 11 meters or 36 feet in length. This particular allosaurus fragilis individual is approaching allosaurus maximus size. So how big was allosaurus? Looking only at the American Allosaurus species, and based on conclusions of multiple paleontologists and the fossil evidence, Allosaurus would have been between 30 to 40 feet in length and weigh between 1.5 to 4 tons. As stated before, larger species such as Allosaurus maximus and Allosaurus amplexus could very easily grow to be over 40 feet in length and weigh up to 5 tons. Keep in mind that paleontologists are always digging up new fossils. So it is very possible that a more complete spe specimen of Allosaurus fragilis could be dug up and measured to be well over 40 feet.